now time to accessorize this pig. That's so I don't get glass in my ass. You gotta never forget your ass protection at Hayes Farm. Covered in this vehicle. In order to put those upside down manifolds on, you have to bust out the air conditioning box. There you can see the heater core. Take out the evaporator coil. And then you've got room to mount your manifold. I had to cut off the pipes to do all this. And luckily I did. Somebody cheated and tried to make somebody lose the demo derby where these pipes came from. Inside of this chopped off pipe, I found this pipe completely blocking all exhaust flow. Hidden right up inside there. You could have never noticed. I would have wondered if I put that back in the car while all of a sudden one side wasn't shooting fire out and I lost all my power. I would have been so confused. It's a good thing I chopped them to change their angles a little bit and modified them to work better on a Chevy Ac. That all worked out real good. Now I got the two manifolds installed on both sides. Got two chopped off pipes sticking out at an angle. Got these 85 Mustang GT tips, which I took off the original pipes. They got a little angle on them already. Uh, so now I got to weld those on and cut holes in the hood. And chop that one down a little. And put that piece on. Then we're gonna have something cool. Okay, now the job is done. Got everything welded on, hood cut. Let's try it out. Total job took about two hours. Got lots of room now where the air conditioning system used to be. It's all busted out. Let's tie her down and go for a ride. Now that's a redneck hood latch. Okay, let's fire up for the first time with the new stacks. Gotta love it. Hey buddy. I actually took the air gun and blew all the glass off the seat so now I don't have to have ass protection. Uh, what, if a what a beautiful sight from indoors. Motor is cooled off now. Man, I never had a car before with a working antenna.
less torque, but boy, she's got jam. She wants to go. <laughs> that was a great ride. Home sweet home.